Now for Movies and Money, and Eric Childress, Vice President of the Chicago Film Critics Association, joins us now. And Eric, Puss in Boots turned out yeah. to be a winner, not a loser for investors in DreamWorks. Yeah, it's funny how quick we are uh, that everyone, especially in Hollywood, is to panic when a movie you know doesn't quite meet up to the expectations that we sort of you know put on to some of these movies sometimes. So the best drop of the year, Puss in Boots, 3% drop. It barely moved. Yeah, it, it barely was, moved at all. Right. 34 million last mm -hmm. week. Here are the numbers for this week. Puss in Boots came in at 33 million. Mm -hmm. So not bad at all. Movies made by Paramount and DreamWorks. Yeah, I mean, since 1982, films that have opened uh, like Puss in Boots to over 3,000 screens, big wide releases. This is the 12th best drops in that time for any for any, any major film like that. Uh, and it's like I said, the four of the five uh, best drops of 2011 were family or animated films. And Puss in Boots uh, beat the second place one by over 20%. Here are the other numbers in the box office last weekend. Tower Heist coming in at $24 million. That's a Universal movie. A Very Herald and Kumar 3D Christmas at <laughs> $12 million. Paranormal Activity hanging in there at $8.3 million. And In Time at $7.4 million. And I didn't have the heart to put on the fact that <laughs> Footloose <laughs> made four Footloose. million dollars. Yes, you Footloose. hated this. I hated Footloose, but it's you know like the dance movies, the step up movies. They're you know it's gonna probably gonna make about fifty million dollars. It's gonna do okay for Paramount. Is it getting repeat viewers? I, I think there's just nothing else out there, and people are sort of I don't know if they're really discovering it from word of mouth or whatnot, but it's out there and kids are going to see it. So I don't know. Attractive people dancing. What can you do? Let's take a stab at the weekend ahead. Hey, Adam Jill. Sandler has a big movie coming up, and we did a report actually this week talking about his return on investment mm -hmm. for moviegoers and film studios. What do you know about that? Well, it's, it's, you look at Adam Sandler's statistics over the years when he makes comedies. Now he's done he just dabbled in drama here and there, but when he does straight comedies. 12 of the last 13 movies that he's done that have just been comedies have grossed over $100 million or more. He's a movie moneymaker. Yeah, he absolutely is. Most of his movies kind of stink, but they make money. All right, aside from Jack and Jill with Adam Sandler, there's Jay Edgar and Immortals, which is not screening for critics. Right. Did you see Jay Edgar? I did see Jay Edgar. Unfortunately, this is one of the weaker films of Clint Eastwood's no. career. It really is a very unfocused kind of mess. Uh, DiCaprio, you know, it might do some decent business it's opening on like 1,900 screens this weekend. Might do a Okay, but it's not it's not really gonna be a player in the Oscar race from here on out. Uh, the real competition is gonna be between Adam Sandler's film Jack and Jill and Puss in Boots. We're gonna see if Puss in, Puss in Boots can make a, you know a third uh, weekend at the top of the box office. It's gonna be very close because Adam Sandler's movies, they tend to do around $30 million. There's only been I think one movie in that those 12 that I've mentioned that did not open to at least $30 million. Even the really bad movie he did with Jennifer Aniston this year it ended up doing 103 million. So it's gonna be very close at the top of the box office this weekend. Eric Childers, Vice President of the Chicago Film Critics Association, joining us now for some showtime. Have a good weekend. Thank you.